All right, hello everybody, hello, welcome to um, another week of WPF Delta Division. Uh, this is actually going to be what, week number, let me double check, week number nine, I believe. Man, imagine being prepared. Uh, yeah, week number nine, uh, we, uh, it's the last week of the regular season. And we are playing basically for a chance of playoffs because <laughs> the season has been good, right? We are sitting at a 5-3 and three record right now, which is not bad by any means. Uh, I feel like some of those games could have been won, but, you know, we also cheese a couple of games ourselves, right? Um, so, yeah, this week we are facing Jack or Gravy uh, and his Vancouver Titans, I believe? Uh, Titans. Tangro, I guess. Um, and yeah, it wouldn't be a Virginia Victini's week nine we'd have if this wasn't just straight up stressful, I guess. Because we are facing the team that, uh, arguably, according to me, and pretty much the people that rank at power rankings after the draft, we're facing the man that has uh, the best draft on the whole thing. Um, I mean, he has a Chimpao on round. He got Chimpao at pick number three, which is absolutely nuts. Um, uh, so yeah, that is incredible. Uh, I would have picked it number one if I was pick number one. So, you know, that's crazy. That Pokemon should be banned. That being said, on top of that, he has a very, very good team. He has the Landers Tyrion, which is not probably not a round two pick, but they pick number two and then they were able to grab Primarina, which is actually one of the biggest problems for us. Our team just doesn't have the best matches against that thing. Uh, they got the Rapagos, which means they have very reliable uh, rapid spinning, um, but also a very scary set of threat if we let it get out of hand. Uh, I just watched the Rapagos uh, destroyed a, um, a coach in a different league. So, you know, gotta be careful with that. Um, what else? What else? Uh, they have the Iron Hands, which is, again, annoying because that Pokemon is so incredibly bulky on the physical side. Uh, and it can hold out the Soul Vest to make itself bulky on the special side. They got a Mew, which is probably bait, but also a Jack of all trades. Uh, I think that the best Mew set is the Elite Hazard stacking, but you know, they can be whatever they want except recovery, I guess. Uh, they got Brockfish, which is annoying for Palafin, of course, because it receives both the main moves that Palafin usually goes for, or the types, and it also is immune to. Uh, which call priority, so we'll, we'll see if it comes. Trevenang is, as usual, annoying for Palafin because it's a grass, grass type. It's not very good, but, you know, it is what it is. They have the Salazzo, which is one of the Stair Captains, and the other one is the Duralodon. Uh, the Salazzo can tear into Fire, Ground, and Dark, and Duralodon can terrestrialize into uh, Steel, Ground, and Fairy. So very annoying Terra Captains. I, I can totally see the Salazzo coming. I don't know that I see the Duralodon coming, but if they... You know, if it does, it does. We'll have to deal with it. Um, anyways, uh, that is their team. Uh, I'm worried about the entire thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to bring the first five for sure, 100%. And then the last one is going to be a toss -up between Mew, Salazzo, or even Trevenant for that case. Uh, if he doesn't bring, yeah, if he doesn't bring one of the first six, I, uh, one of the first fives, I'm going to be very surprised, but happy. Um, like I said, my team doesn't have the best matches against it, and it's just what it is, in my opinion. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the team that we are bringing this week. And that's going to be... Here you go. Uh, Alright, so, Jet Punch, Choice by the Palafin. It's just the best Palafin set. Uh, Jet Punch and Wave Crash are, you know, <laughs> obvious. Uh, the Giga the Giga Impact is the only move that I have that will actually do a decent amount of damage to Primarina, and since Primarina is probably the scariest mon on their on their team, um, that's like my suicide slash emergency button against that thing. It does about 75 to a max defense Primarina. So if they try to set up on me and I have no other ways to beat it, that's how we beat it. Uh, close combat is just for general coverage. Uh, it's not great against, you know, stuff like the Trevenant and the other ones, but on those Pokemon we're switching out. Close combat does very good against uh, the Duralodon. If they decide to bring some sort of iron defense set, it, one, it will one-shot, more than likely, the Terrapagos. Uh, 
I could change that. I may change this before the game for flip turn. We'll see. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, but anyway, second Pokemon on the team is going to be our Deoxys defense. Uh, this week is going to be coming with a, a bit of a weird set. I mean, it has too many things that he needs to do. And yeah, I don't know. Um, here's the idea, right? Uh, behind the set. Uh, hopefully, we can switch this into Primarina, or a non offensive Primarina. And if that's the case, uh, hopefully, the, the idea is I have Shiyu on the field, uh, I try to go for an attack, they go Primarina, uh, Primarina comes in, takes nothing, I find out, I get an idea what kind of set it is, I go into the Oxys as they hopefully flip turn, expecting me not to stay with Shiyu, or even they could try to call mine. If they call mine, I just taunt them, and it starts uh, spiking, uh, you know, it start hazard stacking them with a spike. If they flip turn, they're going to champ out. That's why the Cobbleberry and the Low Kick is for. 100% uh, just for that, so yeah. Taunt is just to cripple things, um, and yeah, that's 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 what the DLC says is. Pretty straightforward, I guess. Uh, Chi Yu, I want it to be Specs, I want it to be Scarf. There is not necessarily a point of being a Scarf, in my opinion, because there's a very high chance that they will bring Choice Scarf Chien Pao, so this will be a bad lead against that. Um, so yeah, we're just bringing in a standard max speed heavy duty boot set. If they come, if the Mew comes, I'm leading with this and just Dark Force in the turn one. Uh, I have a shot to kill it, even if it's max, uh, even if it's max bulk or sorry, max HP. Uh, if they are very into setup, uh, at least I have the Palafins, you know, Choice Bandit, Aqua Jet, uh, Jet Punch that can. Hopefully finish it off, uh, so we'll we'll have to be careful about that. You just have to be very careful about that damn Pokemon. Uh, Psychic is for the Iron Hands and Salasol switch if I expect them to switch into me. Uh, Lava Plume is because I decide, I noticed that I didn't, I really didn't, nothing that I want to hit with Flamethrower really gets hit really hard. And if I expect my opponent to switch out into expecting me to, you know, into Primarina, expecting me to click the dark move or the fire move for that matter at least i can click uh, lava plume and hopefully get a burn to get cheap damage on that thing uh, any cheap damage that we can get on that that will be great uh the iron threats is another potential lead set for me if they don't bring mew uh, it's just a suicide hazard removal set with focus ash has a lot of bulk just to leave a hit from uh, from landers and hopefully or anything really even the iron, even the iron hands, and uh, potentially endeavor it low health next, you know, next turn. Um, knockoff is to cripple items because none of the other moves really does anything. Uh, spin because I really need rocks not to be up this game on, the, on his side and rocks because I really appreciate it on my side. Uh, maybe not the best set that I have brought, but I mean, it's, uh, for the strategy that I have, is is what I'm bringing. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Hitmonton first, I guess. Uh, this thing is my dedicated freaking Chimpao switch, I guess. And that is not a good check, I guess, because, you know, Chimpao uh, could just two-shot me with uh, Saki Fangs, I think even at minus one. So, that sucks. But it is what it is. This thing takes a hit from pre for most Primarinas as well, and Endeavor is really low, so that's fantastic. Triple Axel is for the Trevenant if they decide they want to spin block me. Uh, it does a lot if it's not super defensive, and it hits all three hits, so that's great. Uh, rapid Spin is again because I really need Hazards not to be up this game. Uh, and Mag Punch is just to finish off Chien Pao. I figure that Close Combat doesn't do anything for me, and Low Kick also doesn't hit anything really hard. So Mag Punch is probably something that we're not clicking too often. Last but not least, what I think that's going to be my win com uh, is going to be uh, our Terra Captain this week. Once again, Drifling. Uh, we're going to be pulling out the Terra Fighting. Uh, we basically dra drafted Terra Fighting on this thing just for this matchup. Uh, it's not best. Uh, but it is decent, I guess. It has potential, uh, is what I'm going to say. Um, you know, it's just your standard defensive uh, set, uh, setup set with Kiveri, like with the Rain Racer that worked fantastically. If it hits me with any kind of physical moves, it activates my Kiveri, gives me a defense boost, which makes sure that I can leave hits from Chimpao after Terra and fighting, and I can... Um, Start setting up. Uh, strength up is good to recover health because he has very good physical attackers that will, will kind of want to be in front of this, kind of like the Iron Hands and the Chien Pao. Uh, even if they're holding something like Clear Amulet, uh, we tested. Strength up doesn't reduce their attack, but it still heals me. 
And if I don't register attack, I'm going to be healing until full everything. Terra Blast, you know, is for Chen Pao, uh, for fighting. Uh, I don't need any boost for you to kill it, which is fantastic. And Shadow Ball is just stab and perfect coverage alongside the fighting Terra. So, yeah, that is the team. That is the strategy. Is it a good strategy? I don't know. Am I going to win? I, <laughs> I'm, I'm very uncertain. But... Uh, if we don't win and we end up getting eliminated, uh, it's been a fun season. Uh, I don't love my team. I, I, I think it had potential, but I just think that I'm missing a few things. Uh, but hey, if we make it, we make it. Um, shout out to the rest of the team that is staying on the bench this week. And they're going to just be cheering off the other teammates. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have. We'll see you on the game. Bye now. All right, welcome to the game, everybody. Let's take a look at what job brought. Uh, there's the Terrapagos. There is the Mew. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. So no Landorus is good. He does have a Trevenant, which is annoying. But we did end up changing close combat on Palafin to with flip turn, so that may be helpful. Uh what do I see in starting with? I could see start with a number of things. If they start with Champa, it should be super annoying. But that probably tells me they're Scarf, right? Uh, I don't want them to start with Mew, that's my only thing. Or if they start with Mew, I want to, I want to put some pressure on them. So, we're going to go with this. Good luck, have fun to Jackman. Uh, all we can hope for is a good Nog Haxi game, right? That's all we can ask for. But yeah, the way that the playoffs spots work out for this last one is like super tight. Thanks a lot. Uh, he actually started with the Chien Pao. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Alright, that tells me that he's potentially a Scarf. He's definitely faster than me. That's why his ability activated first. Fair enough. Uh, we gotta go into Balbillon. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Uh, maybe if I had started with the Deoxys, but that would be a little bit too Telegraph. Uh, if they are... All right, get the intimidate going. Okay, they're not clear amulet. Secret sword. That's a good chunk. Let me see if I can gouge what that thing is based on the damage that it did. Hit him on top versus Chien Pao at minus one. Uh, will they be banded? Let me see. He did 115 with Secret Sword. Ah, uh, are you Jolly Ban? Choice Ban. He's not Choice Ban. Okay. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what he is, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to state. He will go to Mew, right? Yeah. He will go to Mew or to Terrapagos here. I think my, be my best neutral play will be to go Deoxys. Yeah, they're going to switch out. Maybe I should I just go right back into Chiyu. Handing out else. You know what? He expected me to go back into Chiyu, I guess. Which actually is fine with me. Does this thing get knockoff? I don't remember if he gets knockoff. I mean, why wouldn't he, right? Yeah. We didn't get a booster energy, that's good. Iron hands. Did you get knockoff, good sir? You do not get knockoff. That's actually pretty good for me. I could set up my first spike. That means I could go to Mew. Uh, I don't necessarily care much about your assault vest. I'm going to set up my first layer spikes. They're going to get out. Probably into Terrapagos, maybe. Breaking Mews. Okay, fair enough. They go into this thing, which is annoying. We do set up a layer spike, which is good for us. Uh, I'm gonna taunt you. They're gonna toxic me. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, I don't love it, but it's fine. Just gonna get taunted. That's good for me. Yeah, fair enough. You know, the Oxys can be super annoying. Um, I do have to switch, however. 
So we'll go to Oppenheimer. We'll, we'll, we'll see what they try to go. Okay, they do switch out. What would you switch out into? Maybe the Terrapagos? Thanks a lot. Back into the freaking champ out. Dude, this man has cojones. Yeah, okay. Uh, that is so unfortunate for me. Uh, they, we know that they are not Chiampa, minus one with secret sword, you did 115 damage. Um, so it doesn't seem to be choice band there. Are you adamant though? Adamant with choice band will do a lot more than that. <sighs> but without the choice band, it might just be black glasses. Ah, uh, I understand that this is not great, but I gotta keep doing it. The Secret Sword is a two-shot now, which is unfortunate, but it's fine, I think. Yeah, we go Bob Bilan, we reduce it. Hopefully, yeah, uh, it doesn't matter what they go for, right? They always kill me. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna just try to Mac Punch. All right, there we draw. Fair enough. That's that's a very good play on them. Breaking Muse. That makes sense. Gonna take some damage from the spike. Gonna catch it with a Mac Punch. It doesn't really does much. Ah. Uh, he'll probably attack. If he attacks, I can go into Cal L, activate my thing by going back into Chi Yu. Ah. Uh, I'm a rapid spin in case he wants to set up hazards. He's just gonna psych psychic noise. Fair enough, I could have gone cheat you there. That would have been a good play. Not my proudest moment, uh, but that is fine. All right, so if I go to you right now, uh, they probably go into something that I cannot take a hit with. Mm, then again, I'm, I'm gonna just go Kyle. All right, we need to activate this as soon as possible, especially because the thing is weakened. Uh, they could ball switch. If they have it, they could U-turn, which will be annoying for this uh, because threats, does, it just drops, right? Iron threats versus Chien Pao. Mm, I actually take a hit. So maybe I should... Yeah, I'm just gonna go Peloton, actually. Maybe not the best play, because they know I'm gonna switch. But if they try to go for Toxic, that's good for me. If they try to go for uh, Ball Switch, we stop it. They're gonna try to go for Toxic, that's good for me. Okay. So we could set up Rocks in here. We could just knock off. Uh, mm. Hmm. Hmm. I think setting up rocks is good. Knocking off is also good. What would you go into? You would go into Iron Hands here, right? Yeah. And I could knock something off. Ah, uh, let's go for a knockoff. Yeah, they, they withdraw the Mew. That makes sense. Fans a lot. Okay. Yeah. Sure. That's not good for me. Yeah, I do literally no damage to this. He was choice ban. That's good to know. Uh huh. So what did you do to me right now? He was choice ban, probably Jolai. But he's nothing right now. So if he goes for so for the secret source, that's fifty percent. I had nothing to hit this damn thing, dude. I had nothing to think to hit this damn thing though. I'm gonna try to go for a rapid spin. I think that's my best play, right? I mean, he's gonna... He could go for Crash here. Crash will be awful for me. Uh, he can just stay too. If I go into you... Is there a point to staying with you? I will, I will rapid spin for damage. Could have gone the Oxus. Damn it, man. Damn it. 
Alright. We got a good amount of chunk in there. Uh, Alright. So he may think that I may attack, so he may just go for the... Uh, for the soccer punch. Yeah, or switch. That's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's a good play. That's a good play for it. Magic trap. That works for me, dude. I'm gonna set up stealth rocks on you. And I'm just gonna knock you off. Make sure we don't get you don't get that harvest. If you kill me, you kill me, I don't care. Right, get rid of the citrus. He was rocky, okay. Fair enough. Yep, probably kills me now. Yeah, that, that hits just does too much. Okay. Right, so do I want to go drifting here? Alright, so here is our problem. I go into you, uh, I mean, how much detress is this Trevenant? Trevenant... Knockoff did about that, so my Pala thing right now will do with. Why do I have Ice Punch in here? Pala thing. We flip turn, we don't do enough to knock it out. I could go into you. If I go into you, I can. No, I cannot take a Pulchy guys from that thing. I go into you. I'm gonna end up sacking you. Uh, if I go Amber Alert. Actually, I should kill you with one, right? Yeah, let's go into Amber Alert. Uh, what, what are you called again? Drifling versus Trevenin. Shadow Ball. Yeah, the, you have to be in, in range of Shadow Ball here. So I'm just gonna Shadow Ball. Please kill. Thank you. All right. So this is this is absolutely the bait the bait for Chiampao, right? If he goes me, it becomes annoying. But this is absolutely the bait for Chiampao. All right. One of the switches to Balafin is dead. <sighs> he still has a, quite a few of them. Okay. This is the position where we want it to be. It's not the best position, but it is a position that we want it to be. Um, right, so right now if I Terra, he hits me, doesn't kill me, I recover all my health, then I had to fight with Primarina. Uh, Terra fighting a plus one plus one versus Primarina. <sighs> I'm gonna Terra and I'm gonna call mine. Because I want to be at plus one when Primarina comes, comes in. So, let's go ahead and do it. Primarina. His soul vest is going to be an uphill battle because Moonblast kills me almost. Two? Yeah. He's just going to crash. That's a lot. Get a key very up. Which is good. We do get a call mine up. That's good. Alright. So we know how this game goes, right? Now he's gonna try to go for the secret source with Chien Pao. Chien Pao, you are all attacker. You are Adamant more than likely. Uh, secret source. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a plus one defense. Yeah, okay. So, first off, we recover our health. That shouldn't kill me. Yeah, never. Never kills me. We get some of our strengths up back. That's good. We're gonna lower his thing. We should get for full. Okay, we call mine again. Yeah. And if he doesn't go to Primarina soon, he's going to be in trouble. 
I am in a position where I can keep uh, coal mining. How much does Secret Sword does? 44. A little bit too close to Comfort. Uh, so I could call mine again. I mean, if it's Secret Sword right now, it's Adamant. He does 44. I take the shard. I'm gonna call mine again. Alright, he does withdraw. Okay. Whew. Gotta go into Primarina. He knows that. Break news. Uh, that's not what you wanted to go into. That is definitely not what you wanted to go into. I'm just killing this with a Shadow Ball. Unless he's like the bulkiest of bulkiest. I think I am a plus two right now, right? I am a plus three, plus three. Plus three, plus three. Is there a war the Mew leaves a Shadow Ball? No, absolutely not. So we're gonna go for the Shadow Ball here. She'll kill it. I don't think there's anything that Mew can do to us right now. You definitely need to go into Primarina though. Primarina is still extremely scary. Okay, something's gonna have to take a hit. Is it a Terrapagos? Oh, he goes into this. Okay, fair enough, he sacks it. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, the Mew stays alive, that's good for them. Uh, Pre-Marina now. Pre-Marina. If you are this. I can take one Moonblast. If he goes Terrapagos, I have to go double for the double thing. Only fins, that is Terrapagos. No, he goes for this. Okay. Uh, I mean, Shadow Ball. I mean, I am as high as I'm going to be. So I just have to go for the Shadow Ball. Let's go. Okay. We dropped his special defense. That's actually pretty huge. If we take this hit. We take the hit. Oh my god. That's so good. Did, did he drop us? He didn't drop us. Oh my god. That's actually pretty fantastic, dude. We just shadow ball here. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Let's go. Oh, that shadow ball special drop was huge, dude. That shadow ball special ball drop was huge. Holy cow. Okay. Whew. He goes Iron Hands. No, he goes into this thing. Okay. So what do I do versus you? Versus you, I need to recover my... Oh, he took damage from the spikes and the thing. Oh, my God. So if you are Terrapagos, uh, Stellar, you're not Terra. You had... No Terra Shell anymore. Uh, a plus three, plus three, my Terra Blast should be doing. If you are the max of the bulk, like absolutely max, my Terra Blast should be doing 69 to 71. I'm going to believe that this is enough. We gotta believe on the Balloon, man. He has brought us this part already, so might as well try to go for it. We do kill it. Oh my god! I think we pulled this out, dude. Holy cow, that Chienpao, it ate the bait. Oh my goodness, holy cow. Breaking news, yeah, you're not gonna take the Shadow Ball. You never take the Shadow Ball. Uh, Salak Berry? Citrus Berry. Yeah, that, that's nothing. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Citrus Berry, uh, never seen that interaction before, but that's good to know. We just Shadow Ball into this. Bye bye, Mew. And with the Iron Hands, we should be able to 1v1 it. Bye, strength's happening. Back to full, basically. Holy cow, dude. We did it. We freaking did it. Those spikes are so nice. Those Stellros are so nice. Uh, yeah, I just strength up you. You will have to Source Dance, and even then. Yeah, we just get the strength up up. Tax goes down. We get all the health. They wild charge, that's not gonna do anything. Yeah, that, that literally does negative damage, dude. Yep. 
And that should be GG's. Which I uh, which tank is stronger? This is 80, this is 80. This has a chance to lower special defense, so I'm gonna go for that. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not doing anything. GG's to Jack, man. <laughs> Holy cow, the drifting worked out perfectly. Perfectly. I could not have asked for a better setup for drifting. Got itself to plus three. Got this, the, the, the Primarina to lose uh, special defense. Uh, yeah. That's all it's gonna roll. GG's to Gravy, and I guess we're moving into playoffs, my guy. Woo! Uh, I was so ready to no move into anything. We'll take the 4-0. We'll see you next week in playoffs. Bye now.